Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the AMD A106800 KAPU that runs in the dual graphics mode with the AMD Radeon HD 6670 discrete graphics card. Now you might be asking, what exactly is a dual graphics mode? Well, dual graphics basically is the same thing as AMD's Crossfire. Crossfire means you combine two or more discrete graphics cards to get more performance. Dual graphics pretty much is the same, with a small difference though. You combine integrated graphics with a single discrete graphics card. Please watch out, not every discrete graphics card will be able to run in dual graphics mode with the A10, 6800K or APUs in general. AMD recommends pairing the A10, 6800K up with their now already pretty old Radeon HD 6670 graphics card and that's exactly what I'm doing here today. As for the discrete graphics card, I'll be using the Sapphire Radeon HD 6670 1GB GDDR5 card. Yes, I have a GDDR5 card here, but since the integrated graphics can only make use of DDR3 system memory, the GDDR5 memory type and bandwidth cannot be used. When running dual graphics, the GDDR5 will immediately turn into DDR3. So there's no performance boost when combining the iGPU with the GDDR5 version of the HD6670. Go for the DDR3 version if you only buy such a card for this purpose, because you'll be able to save some money there. But enough talking, let's get straight to the benchmarks and see if dual graphics is worth it or not. So there you have it. This dual graphics solution is not that bad, but to be honest, it's not what I really prefer. Synthetic tests show a huge performance increase over the iGPU alone. Same thing with most of the games. But please beware, not every single game or application will support Crossfire or in this case dual graphics. Most games however work really well with this configuration. Unfortunately Battlefield 3 for example has some horrible stuttering. It's definitely not lag. You saw in the benchmarks there was a huge increase in performance when combining the iGPU with the HD6670. Pretty much double the performance. In reality however the gaming experience got really horrible. I'm speaking of Battlefield 3 here. It got even worse than with the iGPU alone. I'm not really sure how to describe that issue, but I've also seen it on the previous generation of APUs running dual graphics. 
Someday, AMD might release a magical driver that could fix that issue. But I've also said the same thing months before when Trinity came out, hoping the problem would go away. That didn't happen though. The power consumption is very good compared to the Trinity APUs from last year. On idle, it got a little higher, but on full GPU load, the A10 6800K system consumed roughly 20% less power than the A10 5800K APU running in dual graphics with the same discrete graphics card. So in the end, pairing the A10 6800K up with the HD 6670 can be a good idea, but also a bad one. It's really depending on which games you plan to play. I don't have a lot of games to test it all out, but Battlefield 3 ran horribly with this configuration, so be careful. If you need more graphics power, then I'd really recommend going for a stronger discrete graphics card. It'll not run in dual graphics mode, though. So yeah, I guess that's all I have to say here, and I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.